Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, I've always wanted to talk about the hierarchy of universities in Japan because it's an important part of Japanese culture that is not easy to see from outside. And it's probably useful if you consider studying in Japan. Where you go to university often matters a lot in Japan. For example, job hunting. Sure, many companies say, oh, we don't care about your university, but at the end of the day, going to a prestigious university gives you an advantage. And people say some big companies have a university filter. Since many Japanese people value top universities, if you go to an A tier or S tier university, people will be impressed. This is actually a pretty fair system in a way because in Japan, you can go to pretty much any university as long as you pass the entrance exam. So study hard and you will get a good result. Actually, some students choose to spend one more year studying when they fail to go to the university they want. I actually know this Japanese guy who failed twice and still couldn't go to the university he wanted because he didn't study as hard as he should have. So, going to a good university can be very important to many Japanese people. But what are good universities in Japan? That's what I'm going to talk about. Now, this list is based on a mix of difficulty and prestige. Ranking universities based on difficulty alone won't be straightforward because it really depends on your major. Also, public and private universities have different exam structures, so comparing them won't be easy. Some universities are more famous than other universities even though they are similarly difficult. So let's get started. So. Do you know what's the most prestigious university in Japan? That's right, it's the University of Tokyo, or Todai as we call it. And Todai is also a public university in Japan, and public universities tend to be more difficult but cheaper compared to private universities. So, generally speaking, Todai is the most difficult university too and no other universities have the kind of grandeur that Todai has. And many manga and anime feature Todai. And off the top of my head, I can think of Love Hina and Tokyo Daigaku Monogatari. But the list doesn't end here. So if Todai isn't in S tier, nothing else will be. Now, universities often have a rival university and the rival of Todai is Kyodai or Kyoto University, which is obviously in Kyoto. And it's also a very prestigious university, but in terms of brand, it doesn't compare to Todai. So it's in A tier. And the next one is Waseda, which is one of the most prestigious private universities. People often associate Waseda with creative, outside the box kind of thinking. And for example, we have a lot of novelists who graduated from Waseda. You probably know Haruki Murakami, and he also went to this university. And he also has the biggest number of international students in Japan, so it's pretty diverse. By the way, if you watch the film Norwegian Wood, which I don't think is a good film, but they used Waseda. So Waseda is in A tier. Now, the rival of Waseda is Keio, which is also very prestigious. And stereotypically, Keio students are more like a serious type compared to Waseda students. So Keio is also in A tier. And there's one more university that is often grouped together with Waseda and Keio. And that is Sofia or Jochi in Japanese. And it's smaller compared to the other two, but it's popular with English-speaking students. So some Japanese students who grew up overseas, for example, they go to Sofia. And it's also in A tier. Now, there's one more private university that I want to add, which is ICU or International Christian University. This one is not as prominent as the other three, but I would like to add because lots of their classes are in English, which is pretty rare in Japan. So it's also in A tier. And what about other public universities? Well, I think I should add Hitotsubashi, which is also very prestigious and famous. And even though this one is not as prominent as 
say Waseda or Keio, it's actually considered more difficult to enter because as I mentioned earlier, public universities tend to be more difficult. So it's in A tier. Now, before I continue, I want to talk about F tier universities. And none of the universities here are in F tier because essentially F tier universities are ones that nobody has heard of. For example, you can find a list of Japanese universities based on difficulty like this one. And each university has a score based on the standard deviation. And you can see A tier and S tier universities are above the 95 percentile. But F tier universities are so easy that their difficulty is not measurable. So they are off the list. Actually, we say that those are universities that you can enter as long as you can write your own name. There's actually many F tier universities so I guess I will just give you a list, which you don't really have to pay attention to. Alright, so let's go back to the famous ones. So there's a word that many Japanese students are familiar with, which is March. And this consists of the initials of universities. Meiji, Aoyama, Rikkyo, Chuo, Hosei. And those are B tier universities. But sometimes they add Gakushuin and say G March. Gakushuin is kind of interesting because it's a popular university with the Japanese imperial family. And generally speaking, in Japan, B tier and above universities are kind of considered good universities. So if you go to one of those universities, many Japanese people will think that you've made a decent effort studying. But let me remind you that I only talked about the most famous universities in this video. I'm actually not the kind of person who cares a lot about where you go to university. But even I know those universities because they are very famous. But there's also many other A tier and B tier universities that are very good. So let me give you this list. This one is based on difficulty and those are the ones that I talked about in this video. Now, before I go, I want to mention some interesting facts. Here's a list of the current ministers in Japan. As you can see, the most common university is Todai. And the second most common one is Waseda. And those are literally the most elite people in Japan. Now, have you noticed something interesting? Where did our Prime Minister Abe went to university? Of course, his university isn't a bad one, but it doesn't quite look as prestigious compared to the other ones. So this kind of university hierarchy is pretty obvious to Japanese people, but it's probably not very well known outside Japan. But the thing is, this kind of information in English is pretty limited. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email. So click the link and subscribe to my email group Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.